Today, we're talking to Peter Serafinovich, star of the new Lego game, Lego City Undercover. <laughs> Hi, I'm Peter Serafinovich, and I'd like to give you my five top tips for doing video game voices. Tip number one, the portentous narrator. This is a favorite of mine, and what I like to do to get into this voice is to use this. We've all seen one before. It's a bottle of clear milk. Watch, I just take this off and then using this little blue plastic ring, it makes a perfect monocle substitute. Which really gets me into the mood. I have seen the gates of oblivion beyond which no human eye can see. Tip number two, the annoying computer voice. We all know and love this one, and when I am asked to do it, I usually can't be bothered. So instead, I use my iPhone. Sorry, I didn't get that. Tip number three, the gruff action hero. This is a favorite of mine, but it can be quite tricky to pull off an authentically husky tone. So what I like to do is drink a glass of this, gravel. <sighs> the strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. <coughs> Sorry. Tip number four. The Cockney geezer. If British people aren't posh, they're Cockney, like Ray Wintersbone. And to really sound like you're someone from the East End as cast, an old actor's trick is to eat some apples and pears. We've only got one good UMP. They've got a thousand. Oh, I'm allergic to pears but I can cure it with apple. Phew, thanks apple. Tip number five. Mr. Fighting Game Announcer. I'm a big fan of fighting games like Moral Combat and the Street Wiper series. And if I want to do that kind of fighting announcement voice, I just stick on a, an old fighting headband and I find that not only does it get me into the mood, the voice just comes naturally. Jun Kazama, get ready for the next battle. Fight! Finish him! Ah! Ow. Sorry. Game over.